perfect. First time the victim's family says they are in disbelief that her pit stop to this Walgreens ultimately led to her death. And as this investigation continues, the family tells me there are more questions than answers. The family of this woman, 46-year-old Cersei Varnado, demanding investigators take action against the man who they say murdered her. We really need to know what's going on because she was loved and she had family. Varnado's family says they have been in communication with Chicago police detectives, but so far have gotten zero answers about the man who pulled the trigger. He didn't have to kill her. He didn't have to do that at all. We need justice, and we need justice now. Justice and answers over the circumstances surrounding Vernado's death. Police say late Wednesday night, Vernado was confronted by a store manager after she was suspected of shoplifting at this Walgreens off West Fullerton. Then a man inside the store intervened, at first verbally fighting with Vernado before police say he shot her in the head. I don't know why they would stereotype her, but I do know he murdered my aunt in cold blood. All officials would say is the man is considered an unofficial security guard at that Walgreens location and has a valid FOID card and concealed carry license. But that information has provided little comfort to this grieving family. It was many ways that he could have apprehended her without shooting her in her face. Okay, so you saw, you saw, you saw the news clip of the family demanding justice for the mother of five who was just at you know walgreens trying to make an errand getting some things for her boyfriend and when this all happened um there was the floor manager at walgreens who accused her of stealing now bernardo is just being described as disabled and unemployed and so apparently you know she was trying to leave the store with some pantyhose and the store manager the store manager had called someone for help okay and so then uh, witnesses say that a man arrived with a gun who claimed to be a police officer now this man who arrived with the gun his name is Lewis Hicks and he is a 33 year old man who lived around the corner from the Walgreens okay and so he is being described as the man who often would come to Walgreens and telling them that if anything happened or if you had any problems just give me a call he would show up with a badge and a gun when in fact he was not a police officer he was a trained security guard so the Walgreens employee had text Hicks that day to ask him for help to take care of a suspicious man at the store on the same day that Bernardo was there okay so when he approached the store thinking that that Bernardo was involved with this suspicious man he stopped her and accused her of stealing a dress and then so Bernardo ended up giving him the dress and a, a struggle ensued and Bernardo's bag was ripped open and pantyhose that were for sale by Walgreens fell out of her bag. So Bernardo was yelling at Hicks to let her go and leave her alone and um, that's when they started fighting and rumbling and tumbling. He, Hicks put Bernardo in a chokehold and slammed her to the ground. Now Hicks did tell her that he was a Chicago police officer. Prosecutor said that he's never been a law enforcement officer for, for CPD or any other department for that matter. So, you know, Hicks was also a convicted felon and should have never had a gun in the first place. So he was, you know, a security guard posing as a police officer. And it's very sad that this happened and that this family had to suffer the loss of their uh, mother and aunt. And it's very sad. And so uh, Hicks will not receive any bail after committing this murder. Prosecutors say a Walgreens employee Employee texted 33 year old Lewis Hicks and asked him to come help take care of a suspicious man in the store at 4817 West Fullerton on Wednesday, June 12th. When Hicks showed up, that suspicious man was already gone. That's when police say he then approached 46 year old Cersei Vinvado, thinking she might have been in cahoots with the suspicious man. The defendant physically stopped the victim by reaching out with his hand in front of her and then grabbing the bag in her hand. The victim tried to run away, but the defendant held on to her. He accused her of stealing a dress. She gave him the dress and then tried to leave the store. During the struggle, the victim's bag ripped open and there was some pantyhose offered for sale by Walgreens in the bag. The victim was yelling at the defendant to let her go. Prosecutors say Hicks wrapped her in a bear hug and put her in a chokehold, eventually slamming her down on the ground, saying he was a Chicago police officer. The defendant was pointing the gun at her face while kneeling above her. The victim then said to the defendant, you're a b And that's when he allegedly shot her in the face. 
She later died at Mount Sinai Hospital. Today, her family was in court. They were visibly upset. Prosecutors say Hicks is a licensed security guard, but he never worked for this Walgreens. And as a convicted felon, he's not allowed to have a gun. Today, Walgreens issued a statement saying they are committed to providing a safe environment for their employees and their customers. The employee who was involved in this incident is no longer with the company. State records show that this man was actually given a license uh, to be a security guard in 2017 by the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation. They gave him that license despite the fact that he is a felon. He was convicted of burglary back in 2003. We reached out to that state agency today. They said they are looking into his history. They are trying to figure out how this has happened, and they will take appropriate action going forward. Uh, it